one coming. <laughs> This is where the hoodie comes into play. per section is if one person slips off they tend to bump into the person below them everybody gets angry we end up with arguments <laughs> um, so it's more for that reason than it is for actually the, the safety you won't you won't fall off the rope if there are two of you on the same section so you it's good clear on this one straight nice mate okay so come down to the corner Clear for the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Just rice those walls. So, so touch them for balance, but don't grab hold of them and expect them to stop. So basically, when you come to a metal cable like this, the first thing you're going to do is move your clips onto it exactly the same as if it was another piece of the rope. So you move both clips onto there, and this one, because it's just a bridge, we could walk across and those clips will move with us. But if you try and use that as a zip wire, those are really going to grate and it's going to be a really slow trip and it's going to really trash our carabiners. So that's why we've got the zip trolley, to make this a little bit easier. The zip trolley goes on in between the two carabiners and then the wheels means that it zips backwards and forwards nice and quickly. If we just did that with the carabiners like that, they're still going to drag. So on the top of the trolley, there's those two little ears. Mm -hmm. So you put your zip trolley on there, lift the two carabiners up onto there, and then the important thing, once you've got it all loaded up like that, you hold all three strands, don't hold the cable. Because <laughs> the cable, if you do slip, it will burn, or if you go over it, you'll chop it. What? Cool. Yeah. yeah. So normally you just hold, hold a rope rather than the. So see the three ropes come down. Yeah. yeah. Hold, hold all three of them. Yeah. All right. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Well done. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Drilling a hole, putting another bolt in, wait for an hour for it to set, and yeah. then you can extend it. So it takes like it'll take a So you can come around the corner.
So you should be able to get the next one from there. Cool, yeah, loved it. Yeah. Good to go. <laughs> <laughs> you just said watch my foot. Yeah. That comes up to this side. This side? Uh, ideally, 
Yeah, okay, there, as long as you, yeah, hold, you hold that rope out of the way, that's good. Sure. Yeah, and then grab all three strands, run, and just keep on running all the way out. Too much speed. Then we're slipping back on again. Get the camera out of the way. Oh, on this one, is it? I just told them not to move that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Don't just pull off the pipes, because normally you'd get very wet, but you wouldn't get injured. That'd make great Whereas at the moment, right. you'd get injured, but you'd get dry. What's on? a little bit of electricity for some lights in a, a chamber a little bit further along. Mm. So that was not original. So 50 years time, the groups are going to come in here and they go, well, you know, when Mars was here. Yeah. Any ideas for this? Uh, I'm going to say it's a machine gun. Is it a drill? <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you guessing from the sign on it that says, please don't touch this drill? No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that didn't used to be there, and a lot of the leaders now get caught out about asking people what it is, <laughs> even though there's a big sign that tells everybody. One of, one of those hand-drilled holes takes you somewhere between about six and ten hours Oof. to drill a hole. With this machine, you could do it in about five minutes. Really? But you can imagine how much worse the dust and the vibration and the noise would be with that rather than just with the hand. And then you walk, you can imagine how easy it is to put those metal things in those grooves. Suddenly, there's all the air and surface activity. But they felt it was worth it to buy it. I felt like a couple of miles away. It's just like the air. Bringing down the ground. So the wide things up from two floors to get down. This is another cabin, so another one of these meeting places where all the men from this floor would have got together at lunchtime, big oak table down the middle. It's actually got underfloor heating, so that beneath you is a steam pipe from the compressor. This is hollow, so underneath there there'd be a nice layer of warm air, and then a little boiler in the corner where you some tea. Uh, they lived on stews of tea, so the, the tradition was each day you bring down a new mug of tea leaves, water to top it up but you never empty it out at the end of the day, so the bottom of the barrel will just be like a, a tea soup. Um, and then, uh, yeah, just drink that non-stop pretty much through the day. Um, but this is, as I say, the head centre of their social life. Um, it's also where they get all their, their news and things from. So on the wall there, you can see we've got some sheets of newspaper that have been stuck onto the wall. So literally the same as if you found something interesting, you just shove it on the wall on Facebook, they would literally come and shove a newspaper on the wall. And these date back to the late 1930s. Wow. So at the top here, um, there's one with some cartoons and some adverts for Skegness and places like that. But in the background, you can actually see there the outline of Scandinavia. Um, Britain's over here somewhere, you've got the Baltic Sea. Um, and basically, you've got maps there showing you the Russian advance across the use of attack for merchant convoys going across the Atlantic. 
um, and the Graf's Bay got sunk um, in the, got scuttled by the by the um, captain in the river Plate in uh, and in Uruguay, Argentina, somewhere down there. Um, and then there's various different bits of graffiti for, of various ages. So over in the corner, we've got a picture that's just scratched into the wall of somebody, and we have lots of debates about who that might be. Um, from the time, I think it could be Winston Churchill. That's why. <laughs> that, that, that's because that's why. Dry-ish feet, good. We're going to carry on through the water and it gradually gets deeper because that passageway is sloping down towards the incline that we're heading towards. Um, it will eventually get sort of thigh deep. Now we're not going to walk in the water, but if you feel like you're about to fall off, just step off and get one wet leg rather than going head over heels and getting soaked head to toe. <laughs> but there's some scaffolding bars in the water for you to balance on. There's some little brackets above your head. Oh, yeah. Just use the wall. Uh, are they doing this? No. <laughs> Just on the chain post, just watch your feet. 
fingers if it's smashing against the rock, because it doesn't do fingers a lot of good. Two lights. Take a deep breath. Your nose has been shut down for the last four hours, five hours. As you walk out there, you'll smell all sorts of smells you've never smelled before. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. when you get off the plane. Yeah. Turns out like you're on for those. Yeah. <laughs> 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 